you create a app. So you copy and paste it for the iPad app project. I open the project from the respective. So for that, I need an iPad resources. So I add files and I say add the iPad resources. So I add it. So all my resources. Now for porting, there's a magical condition which you have to set. And porting will only happen at there are four or five places where you have to make sure your Condition should be applied one for while creating the image. So the condition which is there is called UI user interface item equal to equal to UI user interface pack. Now if this condition gets satisfied, it means it's an iPad. And else it's iPhone or iPod. So I Now before you use this condition or before we create an app which is supports both, let's check a current app without changing any changes in logically or anything and run it on the iPad. <coughs> let's reduce this again. Oh, if you see, I didn't do any changes and it's running on the iPad in an embedded form. So that means if an app runs on the iPhone, it has to run on the iPad. You have two X button where you see it increases the size and everything gets pixelated. So, <coughs> so there's no logical porting involved in the iOS device. It's just a resolution porting. So you have to make sure your code is resolutionally portable. But in order to make it iPad and iPhone enable, you just select your project setting inside go to target and there's devices. In that devices drop down you on iPhone, iPad, and Universal. Select Universal. Now, once you select Universal and run your same app without doing any changes, you will find the app runs on the 320. It takes the entire origin, exact origin of the iPad. So, if you find your app runs on a send top left. Now, let's start doing the changes. So, I have all my iPad resources. So for iPad, it's iPad BG1. So I say, if it's an iPad, load iPad BG1. Now we're gonna start using this porting for images. So I have something here. So I will take, come on, see, I declare, and I say, remove this. So if it's iPhone, it's one dot PNG, else it's, iPad one I create a pumpkin now similarly I have for the I <coughs> for my reset button supporting so on the iOS device is quite fast so I have if I have else I just have to copy paste So if it's a reset icon, it will be iPad reset icon. Cool. So I just have to mention condition at very limited places, especially when you're creating a UI image or you're giving a path for the UI image or any. Uh, you just have to bifurcate the condition there. Once the UI image is created, you can create the. Then I say run. If you see, oh, that's it. Why pumpkin? Oh, I made a mistake. When it's iPad, it should be. <coughs> uh -huh. Now it shows with the bigger, but it runs the boundary condition at three twenty four eighty only. So. Everything runs fine, but then mounting conditions also we have to have a bifurcation condition because it's related to the screen size, right? So I have the bifurcation condition. So I put if it's iPad, you should do this. If it's iPhone, do this. So I just copy paste all my if else conditions in this bigger if and else block. So 
the resolution in the iPad is 768 and vertically is 1024 but 20 pixel goes in that so we say 1004 that's it we are done so let's see if pumpkin runs oh it runs faster ah it's very fast now we see that our scores and label text is very small so we're gonna have a bifurcation condition for creating a label frame also so I have if else so I create label for the iPhone iPad and depending on my label I create my UI label and also I need to set the font accordingly right therefore we want to get font code also inside the if else condition the only reason I'm creating if inside the label inside the condition so that <coughs> it's proper so I say 60 and I made for 40 simple now similarly I gonna have condition for my life score Okay, so I say three ninety sixty. Oops, yep, sixteen and forty. So I have made my tables go accordingly, and I declare. So basically, the bifurcation condition for the iPhone and iPad happens at frame, at the center, at the font, and for creating a new image object rest everything remains the same so it becomes simple if you see score life are now proper as per the <coughs> requirement and we have created the game for our iPhone and iPad very simply isn't it cool yeah now in next tutorial we're gonna see how to deploy it on the device and create and prepare the IPA for the <coughs> iTunes.